hello my darlings welcome back to my channel so um let's jump right into the tutorial so first off this is the eye look i'm going to be creating today my brows are done one eye is done so let's jump right into the other eye so first off i'm going into my zaron's um concealer in the shade deep i've already done a review of this concealer i will put a card um link above so just click on it so you know my review and thoughts about this concealer So now once I'm done blending that concealer out on my eyelids, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix in NC46 and I'm just going to basically set that concealer. So whatever eyeshadows I'm going to put on top of my eyelids will blend more easily. So now going into my first eyeshadow and this is a pink eyeshadow from my BH Cosmetics 120 First Edition palette. So I'm just going to slowly build that pink color up till I'm satisfied with the color effect. Then now I'm going to go into a mixture of purple and black from that BH Cosmetics 120 palette and I'm just going to take this brush and use it to cut out my crease with that black and purple color. So once I'm done cutting out the crease, I'm going to go back into that uh, pink eyeshadow and adding a little red just to intensify the crease color and the transition color. I'm just going to use that to blend out the purple and black eyeshadow. So now once I'm done blending that shadow out and I'm satisfied, I'm going into my white face paint from Snazaro and I'm just going to use that to cut out my crease so that the colors I'm going to apply on my mobile lid will come out more vibrant because I want to, for this look as you can see, I'm using colors so I really want all the colors to pop. So now once I'm done cutting out that crease, I'm going to go into my first eyeshadow and this is like a lemon green eyeshadow from that um, BH Cosmetics 120 first edition palette. It's kind of like a shimmery lemon green eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply that basically on the inner portions of my mobile lid, just dragging it a little bit to the center of my lid. Once that is done, I'm going into this light blue shade and this shade is from my Modern Beauty Obsession palette. It's a really, really vibrant shimmery light blue shade. So I'm just going to apply that in the middle part and blend it in towards the lemon green color. So basically I'm just blending each color into each other so there's no harsh line. The blue I'm blending it into the green, the green I'm blending it into the blue. So now once I'm done blending, I'm going into a deeper shade of blue from still from that um, Nougat Beauty Obsession palette. I'm just going to use this deeper shade of blue at the outer V of my eyes and blending it into the lighter blue. So now the eyes are complete. So now I'm going to go into my black radiance. I cleaned up my eyes later, you know, with wipe and all that. So, but anyways, to line my eyes, I'm going into my black radiance liquid eyeliner, and I really want a very thick wing. So that's basically what I'm doing. But I don't want it to be like sharp. So I'm going to, as I'm applying the eyeliner, I'm smudging it with some black eyeshadow. Apply smudge, apply smudge. So that's basically it till I'm satisfied. So this is what the eye looks like after the eyeliner. So um, now it's onto the white dots on the crease line. 
So basically, I'm just going back into that my um, white body paint from Snazaru and with a really tiny brush, I'm just going to randomly put dots on my crease line. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with my Fenty Beauty in Trophy Wife. So now we're going to just pause on the on the eye look and just head on to the face. So first off, I'm going to just moisturize my face with this bronzing oil that I made myself. Hopefully next week I'm going to like put a video up on how I made the bronzing oil. So anyways, I'm just going to apply that on my face. Then to prime my face, I'm using my Black Radiance uh, primer. I used too much primer. <laughs> But anyways, I prime my face with that. Then for my foundation today, I'm using my Revlon Color Stay in Mahogany. I haven't used this foundation in quite some time. So, you know, just checking through my fashion, like, oh, let me use this. I haven't used it in a while. So I'm just going to use that on my face. So now to then for highlight, I'm going to be using these two shades of Zaron concealer and I'm just going to use that to highlight you know the normal places under my eyes, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow and my chin. I'm done blending out that concealer I'm going to go into my powder mix you if you if you, if you know you know <laughs> so I'm going to use this powder mix to set that concealer under my eye so it doesn't smudge or move and basically everywhere I put the, the concealer I'm going to set then I'm also going to reverse contour just my uh, chin area so my contour really pops when I apply it Okay guys, so I am done um, setting all my face. I even reverse contoured my nose just to make my nose look a bit sharper. So now I'm just going to dust off all that powder and set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix in NC46. Once I'm done dusting off all that powder and setting my face, I'm going to lock in all my um, powders and foundation with my Kiss Beauty Aloe Vera Setting Spray. And I'm just going to use a blender to just dab that into my skin. So now once I'm done with that, we're going back into the eyes. For the eyes, I'm just going to um, use my Estee Lauder Kajal Pencil in black and black. Just on my waterline. Then I'm going to take some black eyeshadow and smudge that eyeliner out. So then to open my eyes a bit more, I'm going to take that white um, face paint. And I'm just going to pop that just on the inner corner of my lower lash line so just to give my eyes a bit of pop and make them look wide so now contour i'm using my um face powder the darkest face powder in my palette and i'm just going to use that to control my face once i'm done contouring time for highlight y'all know fenty beauty trophy wife <laughs> yes this, this highlighter is amazing so anyways, I'm going to highlight with that, chin, bridge on my nose, keep it bold, you know, and cheeks. So now, yes, wig is popped on, I tied the scarf. If you guys would like me to do a tutorial on like this hairstyle and the whole scarf stuff, do let me know in the comment section so I can do it. I would gladly do it for you guys. So now I'm just popped on, I'll just change my top. Now onto the lips. So for the lips, first off, I'm going to be going in with my... Um, Kylie Cosmetics Lip Pencil in True Brown K. I'm just going to line my lips with that. Then, yes, I didn't know what lipstick to use on my lips, so I just went with my Zaron Concealer, the lightest concealer, and I just popped that on my lips. Ladies, if you don't know what to do on your lips, just carry your concealer and pop it on, and you're good to go. So, anyways, I popped on the concealer on my lips, and that is my lip color for today. 
okay guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i really got a lot of love on the look because i used this look before for a previous video so i hope you do enjoy it if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to share this video don't forget to also subscribe please let's get those 1000 subbies and 4000 hours in check until my next video guys stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you next time bye